In a normally quiet section of West Peoria, people say they are shocked after a shooting early today. Good Thursday evening, I'm Tyler Lopez. And while no one was hurt in this case, those shots still echo for those who live nearby today. Liz Lape was there. Liz. Laura and Cortland Avenues were awakened by Peoria County Sheriff's Office deputies earlier today asking for any information on a shooting that happened on the corner. Around 1.45 a.m., officers say 41 rounds were fired, damaging two homes on Laura Avenue, not far from the Franciscan Center. Those bullets also hit a car in the driveway. People were in their homes when the shooting happened, but no one was hurt. Now the chief deputy is asking people to come forward with any information that could help solve the case. If things don't look right where you live, um, then they're probably not. You should act on those and, and contact your local law enforcement. We'll take a look through there um, and, and see if we can find anything suspicious or at least just have an increased presence in that area. A woman I spoke with says one of the houses hit by gunfire has been known to attract trouble throughout the years. And she says this shooting makes her feel unsafe. The renter of the home that was hit by the most gunfire didn't want to go on camera, but did say she was still in shock. The sheriff's office so far has not released any suspect information. Liz, thank you. And Peoria police also busy on a shooting that left a man seriously hurt overnight. It was about 1130 p.m. They were sent to a neighborhood on West Thrush Avenue, not far from the new health department. They found 38 shell casings, though. We're told the victim was shot inside a house and that the injuries are serious, but so far no suspect information there in Peoria. Also, a nine-month-old baby was taken to the hospital in Peoria yesterday after being hit by shattered glass. This was believed to be caused from a bullet going through a car windshield. Police in Peoria say 26 rounds were charted by ShotSpotter on South Ligonier about 8.30 p.m. The baby's mother then drove to the hospital where she told police they were shot on South Griswold Street. The baby's condition is unknown and again no suspect information at this point. An appellate court judge has upheld the 18-month prison sentence for Tennessee Waffle House shooter Travis Ranking's father, Jeffrey Ranking, was sentenced in March of 2023 for providing the rifle used in the 2018 deadly shooting. He was found guilty of knowingly giving a weapon to his son who was struggling with psychotic mental illness. His defense adamantly argued throughout the case that the elder Ranking was unaware of the struggles. In their 36-page ruling, the judges commended both the trial court and the state for their performances. Early this morning, a suspected drunk driving wreck left the front of a West Peoria home damaged. Take a look. It was around 2 a.m. Sheriff's deputies there in Peoria County responded to a car that crashed.